Rob, um, if we could start off first of all, obviously Thomas Francis has, has been banned for, for eight weeks after the, the incident with Wales. Your thoughts on that? Oh, it's like anything. I think you've got to be very careful making um, comments on stuff when you've only kind of seen one angle, and the only angle that most people have seen is a is a super slow mo kind of super close up where you know, the reality is it look, does look like Tom's fingers makes con make contact across Dan Cole's face. And that's uh, and it was shown so many times on TV at the time that I think there's probably it was always going to be the case that he was going to get some kind of a ban. Do I think he's done it uh, done it in any, with any kind of uh, intent? No. And I think we all know, anyone who knows Tom knows that, and probably anybody who watched the footage at full speed knows that there's been no intent there. Um, so me personally, I, I I feel I feel a bit sorry for him. I feel a, a bit annoyed for us as a club because I think you know these charges of reckless behaviour they're all well and good, but the reality is. You know, if if someone is entering a ruck and trying to hit hit with the shoulder and trying to, they've got to make contact with something with their hands and with their arms. And if it's someone's face with no intent, then it's a ban. And if it's someone's leg or shoulder or arm with exactly the same intent, then it's nothing. I think I just think it's one of those things that perhaps as a uh, as much as we've all got to be very mindful of player welfare, which is which obviously is, is hugely important. I just do think when we talk about some of these things that we just need to be a little bit careful that you know two people can commit exactly the same action and one is uh, means absolutely nothing and it's just clearing out a ruck and another is an eight-week ban and the, the intent to, to do things is exactly the same. And to me, that just I just feel a little bit uncomfortable with that. What sort of a blow is it for your Premiership running, not having Thomas in your squad? Well, as, as as if we missed any any player who's played rugby for us in the first team and has become an integral part of the first team squad, it's it's a bit of a blow. Um, but having said that, you know, we've had quite a few blows along the way. You know, we've had plenty of people out for eight and ten weeks and twelve weeks, and you know, you just get on with things, don't you? And obviously, you know, it's good to have Tom around and, and being fit to train. That obviously helps things as well. You know, and the reality is, if we go well or, or go as well as we want to go, then there's still still fixes that Tom may potentially play. So it's not like he's injured, it's not like he's um, not going to be around. So there's a block of time where we can we can work with him and uh, help him improve a few things, maybe sort out a couple of injury niggles and then get him back into full training. And as I say, he'll play a full part in, in uh, preparing the team week by week. From a club point of view, is there any sanction you'll put on him from, a, from an Exeter Chiefs point of view or have you just left it with what's been dealt with? By, um, by the international board. Yeah, no, we won't put any, we won't put anything on there at all because we don't believe he's intended to do anything. So we're not going to punish him for having no intent to hurt anybody. Do you feel he's been harshly treated? Uh, it's very difficult, like I say, without seeing all the footage and without reading the um, the wording of the sighting, etc. I, I don't want to say because it'd be wrong of me to say. But as, I, as I said before, do I genuinely think people should get lengthy bans? And this is a lengthy ban for. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, I said, like I say, having known Tom and from the footage I've seen, especially when I when I watch the footage that isn't just the, the solo in on the incident, and you actually look at his angle of entry and the, where he's looking, I'm very confident there's absolutely no intent there. You know, like I say, should you get lengthy bans for incidents with absolutely no intent? Well, it's hard to say you should, isn't it? Let's move on to other areas of the, of, of the, uh, the Six Nations because you have two players playing for England this weekend at a potential Grand Slam. How exciting is it, the prospect of having two of your players winning a Grand Slam with England? Well, obviously it's fantastic. I mean, first and foremost, you know, we're, we're an English club and we want England to do well and to have players involved is fantastic and to see that England are, you know, have, have progressed so quickly as a side and are fighting out for a real, um, I don't know, I suppose a real trophy so early is, uh, and Eddie Jones is good. The fact we've got players involved, not only actually in the 23 this weekend, but they've been involved in the full Six Nations training, you know, with Dave Hughes going up and down, Sam Hill going up and down, you know, th those things, you know, they're, they're really important to us and I think that, um, you know, it just shows that, you know, moving forward and, and, and going forward and where we want to be as a club, the kind of players we want to attract and the players we want to keep here and the opportunities that we want to create for them as well. So I think I think all round it's one of those one of those win-win scenarios, isn't it? You know, our players get to play in very big games. Um, we as a club help England do well um, and we as a club uh, are an attractive proposition for international players. Two homegrown players as well. They're not players you've brought in, are they? No, that's right. I mean, and, uh, and I that, think... Does that make it extra special? Um, uh, well, yes, yeah, I suppose, of course it does. I mean, because, you know, they've... Uh, everything that's happened in their careers has had some kind of a link to us and, and that's fantastic but at the same time you know we also do hold every player here as important and I'd like to think we work as hard with every player who comes here from whatever country they come from to help them be the best player they can as we do with a, with a Jack Noel or a Luke Cowan-Dickey so you know it's great when we see those guys playing international rugby as well because you know they're all very important to us.